Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager, Sunshine Resources. In this video, I'm going to show you how to control and neutralize the pH of your liquid soap. Before I proceed, if you're new to this channel, I suggest you subscribe so that you do not miss any of our videos each time we upload them. Now let's continue by first knowing the meaning of pH of a solution of liquid soap. pH, which literally means potential hydrogen, is a technical term used to describe the degree of acidity or alkalinity of a solution. A solution can either be acidic, neutral or alkaline. It is usually represented on a number scale starting from 0 to 14. Solutions that have pH between 0 and 6 are said to be acidic, with 0 as most acidic and 6 as least acidic. Solutions with pH 7 is said to be neutral. A very good example of solution with pH 7 is water, and solutions with pH between 8 and 14 are said to be alkaline, with 8 least alkaline and 14 most alkaline. Now let's see the approximate values of the pH of common substances in our homes. This video is aimed at teaching you how to neutralize a liquid soap that is highly acidic or highly alkaline. However, if you plan to use the liquid soap for cleaning around your homes, having a highly alkaline soap is not a problem. In fact, it may even be working to your advantage to a certain extent as highly alkaline and highly acidic soap product can be great cleansers. You can use substances like citric acid, acetic acid or vinegar and triethanol amine TEA, to neutralize the pH of your liquid soap. In this demonstration, we are going to be using triethanol amine TEA. Triethanol amine is a pH adjuster. Here we have a liquid soap solution. This is triethanol amine TEA. This is universal pH paper and this is a pH scale. Now let's find out the pH of the liquid soap. Now cut the universal paper and dip it into the soap solution. Now from the coloration on this universal paper, it shows that this liquid soap is having a pH of 11. Now let's add some drops of TEA in the liquid soap and we'll check again. Now from our observation and color comparison, it seems the pH of our soap solution is about 10.2. The blue color of the universal paper is more faded than the previous. Now if you want the pH to go down, to go lower than 10.2, or you want to bring it to 9 or 8 or 7, then you have to keep adding more volume of TEA to the soap solution. 
Now let me say here that the pH value obtained through this method gives an approximate value and may not be very accurate. So thank you very much for watching and God bless you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our website on www.sunshineresources.org.ng. You can visit our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash c forward slash sunshine resources srtv. You can also follow us on our Facebook page on Sunshine Resources. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.